Hubby, everybody. Um, we're headed to a sale down there in Texas County, Missouri again. Um, because I've kind of got a wild hair. This is my thought. One of the, you know, looking down the road for the next 20 years of Oliver's life um, and the contingencies on how to care for him, I'd like to have a few stud fees every year or have him have a reputation of being a good sire or a good horse. Well, um, one of the most in demand types of horses right now is draft cross cow horses with cattle bred um, quarter horse mares. For the last two or three years, all the sales I've been going to, the highest selling horses of the sales have been those draft court, draft cross cow horses. And um, my personal fancy is the ones that are roan, the roan colored ones, either blue roan or red roans or bay roans or whatever. Um, and then also in this idea, I've been wanting to use it as a um, chance or an opportunity for to further my skills in training. And I would raise one up and learn the reining and the cow horse aspect from my friend Greg Gully, who's one of the best reining horse and and uh, cow horse trainers that I've ever met. And he, he's been on our channel a couple. Oh times. yeah, everybody knows Greg Gully that's been on here. Uh, <laughs> So what I'm thinking about doing is getting me a quarter horse mare, might be my first quarter horse, and breeding it to Oliver. That way I'll have a comparison with a Foxtrotter cross and a quarter horse cross out of Oliver. I can raise it up, train it to do the reining, learn the reining myself, then use it to advertise Oliver as a stud for a reining cow horses. And uh, you know, that's a four year project from now, but it's fun it'll be fun content um i was already planning on cutting down my herd numbers on my fox trotter mares because i don't need as many as what all what i have and i'll be able to kind of pick and choose which ones are producing the best foals um so i think i'll add this into the rotation and i already if i don't want to breed her back again my friend Greg Gully can use the brood mares because he has a really good reining horse stud and I'll just give her to him so we're gonna go look um, at a certain horse that was advertised tonight there's a registered red roan quarter horse cow bred mare at this sale we're gonna go watch her sell as soon as we arrived I searched out and found the red roan mare I was looking for and gave her a real quick once over but before I got her out to really watch her go, I wanted to get permission from the owners and I found them out in the parking lot and I wanted y'all to, to see the kind of questioning that I do when I get to speak to an owner at a sale about a horse and some of the questions that y'all might use too if you're ever in this scenario. The main thing is just to let the owners talk as much as possible because eventually they would tell on themselves if there is anything really wrong with the horse. So is she yours, or are you guys just buying and selling her? Um, she's mine. So you've had her? I've had her for a while, yeah. I got. I haven't had her her whole life. Right. Um, I've had her for a while. The pu the guy like I got months her, or years. I I've had her for a, a year now. Is she sound? Mhm. Mm yep. But um, she's completely broke. We originally got her for my daughter, and then we got my daughter a bigger horse. To your knowledge, has she ever had a foal? Yes, she has. And actually, when I um, got her, she's supposed to be bred. The guy I got her, originally got her from, they're really good friends of ours. And um, they've they've actually, had, she's sold for them. They've had her for a long time. But then you just, you've seen her in heat, so she's not bred. No, she's not bred right now. Yeah. No, she just got it. She just came out of heat. My daughter is on her bare bag. She rides in the saddle. I mean, she's... And you wrote her enough to know if she'd be sound. Yeah. Um, she's been a great horse. She's super sweet. Like, she's amazing. Out of all my horses I have, she's probably the best. She just not suiting your daughter. So you're yeah, we, she just wanted something bigger, a little faster, more. She's thin too right now. Yeah. A thin. She's, um, I've had her on 26 acres of green grass. She's just like that. She's, that's just her normal. I just had her Coggins updated, um, and I, she's had all of her shots. Um, Has she been wormed lately? Yep. Yep. I wormed her at the same time. Okay. wonder why Did she it. doesn't want to put no weight on. That's strange. Yeah, I had the vet check her teeth. But hers were good. She eats grain every day. I feed her grain every day and she eats green grass. The, the, our, my field is just starting to turn. 
where we're going to start feeding hay. That they've been on 26 acres of it's been green, green. So she's honestly a hard keeper then. <laughs> Just one yeah. of those. Yeah. She like was our, actually we have, we have a mare like that. Oh. Um, when I got her from him, she was thinner. Mm -hmm. Really, she's put on a lot of weight since I've had her. Hmm. So, and she, but she was wean, did you say she was weaning a foal when you got her, or no, she had already had she one? had already had one. He pulled a foal off of her, not last year, but I think the year before. Okay. She's great. Okay. I okay. hate to see her go. Like I said, I, my, my dad was like, Sandy, you've got too many horses. You need to like downsize. I'm like, but I love her. Yeah, it's hard to <laughs> But we don't really ride her. We don't really ride her like we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, so. yeah. Yeah. Thank fine. you. Yeah. Thank you very much. They gave me permission to get her out so I could look at her better and really get to know her. And remember, all, everyone, she's not a small horse. It's just I'm a really large human. I made sure to turn her a lot because in these tight turns, she shows a little bit of stiffness. I don't think she's lame, but probably just sore bones or a little bit of pre-arthritis due to her age. Whenever you're trying to pick out a horse at a sale barn, trotting and tight turns are the spot where you'll be able to see any lameness the most evident. She seems a little off on her back end, but I can't quite place it. Why? Not just too thin. She's got a little layer of love over her, but she's just got a little thin on her backbone and stuff. These are pretty decent. She ran the American Quarter Association. She was full man in the state of 2006. She is a red-drawn mare. Her name is Hill K. Eddie by Hill K. Kiyoli by Doc Kiyoli by Doc Brown on the top side. Got Patty Sand right on the top and all. On the bottom side, Rony Bottom by Lucky Star Mac by Earl M.S. Mac. Got Doc Bar, Pepe Sand, Doc Gillian, right on our papers. Be a 2006 model, I'm playing my fancy little old man. 800 bucks, 700, 800, 700, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, 800, I just bid, so now you can watch the auctioneer look back and forth from the other bidders to me. Back and forth from the right side to me. I hope we can get her. Okay, so just like last December, when we first met Oliver here, I won the bid on the horse, just like I won the bid on Oliver. But the owner did what's called a no sale, meaning that their reserve price wasn't met. So we won the bid for about $875, I think. Yeah, it was something I need to go back yeah. to. Yeah, and uh, they no sailed her, and they ended up wanting 3500 because that's what they had paid for her. So anyway, I had the, I went and negotiated with them afterwards and offered them 1250 and they still wouldn't take the price. So we're basically just, that is what it is. The mare, you know, was 17 years old. She was thin. 
she was a little stiff when she turned but um her pedigree and her color did justify her being worth more than the 875 that i'd won the bid on but i thought 1250 was a was a reasonable um offer considering that i you know had rightfully won her at 875 but they they said they needed 3500 and that was as low as they'd go and they just decided to keep her and breed her next year themselves so i was gonna start looking at the bigger auctions like the interstate regional auction where we got oliver but just so happened that this same auction house listed another registered roan quarter horse mare she meets the three categories i have which are registered roan and cow bred and even better this one we're going to go look at now is young, a little bit younger, broke to ride, and really fat and sound so that she'd be a good, um, a good riding horse too. And one, I can start learning the disciplines I need to learn to train the crossbreds before they're born. So let's keep our fingers crossed and go see what she looks like. Hey, look at this pretty girl. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, yeah. Nice horsey. Yep, that's her. She's got good color. She'd probably go pretty high, but she's a nice looking horse. I've been doing this long enough that I just instantly could see that this was a higher quality horse and would start and bring a lot more money than the other one. The other horse was a good horse and probably was, was this quality six or seven years ago. But this horse still looks to be in the prime of life. She has a lot more muscle. She's more well taken care of. And uh, I'm trying to sway, you know, dissuade my hopes because she's probably going to be the high selling horse of the sale. When checking over a horse at a sale, you have to look at almost everything because you never know what you're going to find. I forgot to check their mouth before, and when I get home, you open their mouth and all their teeth had been kicked out in the pasture. The main thing to look at is the legs. You want to look at all the joints and the ankles and the hooves. Make sure there's no swelling. Make sure there's no splints, which are little bone fractures just below the front knees. Um, other than that, you kind of really need to see them go, and I could not find the owners to this horse to where I could get permission to get her out and look at her before the sale started i really like her color and i like her mane a lot too it looks like um, a salt and pepper mix she's got a lot of gray hairs mixed in with the black hairs of her mane and then she's what's known as a bay roan so she has an agouti gene and a roan gene I didn't get permission to get her out and watch her go, so I'm really going to have to watch now that the sale is starting. Still got a pretty little mare. This is his older brother's horse. He's gone all the time and ain't got time to ride her. He's in a truck. That's the only reason she's here. He has rode her quite a bit, but he hasn't rode her very often. He just trail rode her. General handles, picks up her feet, chews good and all. This little mare right here, be registered to American Corner Association. She was full April the 13th of 2009. She is a red roan mare. Her name is Lakota by C. Dat 4x4, by, by C. Dat Booger, by C. Booger Red. She's a C. Booger Red Red. She's Drew Blue Baby by Drew's Hancock too, by Drew's Hancock. Has she ever been bred or have any reason to think that she wouldn't breed? No, he's never had a colt. Um, he's had her since she was young. He's, they don't have a stud horse. They don't have a stud horse. They, they they've never bred her. Okay. I've known this boy a long time. As long as they weren't breeding her and she just wasn't getting pregnant. Yeah, they never bred her, right? There's, he has no reason he wouldn't lie to you for her. There's no reason to believe she wouldn't breathe. She's a 2009 model. She always cycles, he said. Talk about a fancy little mare right there, she is. She's put together right. 
Good trail horse, brute mare, whatever you want to use her for. You got a little ride to her. Come on, 1500 if you saw my arm go up I just jumped in and bid and now I'm in the lead it jumped up a couple times and I had to bid and now I'm in the lead at 2000 and luckily this guy is messing her up trying to make her back up in this stressful situation and hopefully that'll dissuade other people from bidding. There's a nice clean mare right there. Right now. 2100. 2000, 2100. 2100. See, you can tell she ain't been rolling a lot. He don't even know how to unsaddle. 2000, 2100. 2000, 2100. 2000, 2100. That's how you make them right there. I'm real surprised that as good as she looked when the saddle was stripped, and as well as she behaved being mounted bareback, that nobody else jumped in and started bidding right here. Eighty eighty six. Sorry, Woohoo, we did it. And even better than that, I had no buyer's remorse because usually by the next day you start to find out what was wrong with the horse and why it was at a sale. But this one is really seems to be good. She moves out right, she's healthy, and she's got a good sound mind. She's a sweetheart. And I'm really getting excited about this horse and think I did a good job of picking one out and it was just meant to be because I really like her. So this was the next day. I wormed her, gave her some shots, and then we kept her in a quarantine stall for the next eight days just getting her out and hand walking her. Pretty girl. Okay, we've done eight days of quarantine and we would have done more if she showed any signs of being sick but she looks perfectly healthy. She didn't have any snotty noses or coughs or fevers. Can you turn um, her this way a bit? So she's in great shape and she's ready to meet her new herd. And I think she'll be pretty hyper because she's been in the stall for eight days. So I'm gonna cut her loose and see how she does. Let's follow them out there. <laughs> oh, she might wanna roll first. Have some of the girls come and meet her. Oh, she sure is pretty. Right here, Ozark and the new mare touch noses, and you're literally witnessing love at first sight. I don't think we've ever seen two horses bond so quickly. Uh, these two are pretty much inseparable at this time. So here comes Lucky, and she is one of the lead mares, so that's usually when they will have a pecking order discussion. <laughs> yep, there she goes. So Lucky and our mare Classy are probably our most bossy horses. Here comes Classy. Jewel bringing up the back. Oh my. Lucky, and Lucky likes to fight a little. And Classy likes to fight a little, so those will probably be some squealing on those. 
Jesse says I'm staying out of it. Yeah, there's several of them that don't like to fight. Don't come over here. <laughs> They just start running. Yeah, I did too. Oh gosh, there she is over that miracle right now. I think GR and I were both surprised how smoothly this is going, but we realized we don't have any geldings out there, and geldings will cause a lot of problems in a situation like this. Not as much action as I thought there'd be. Well, it's going to pick up, I bet. <laughs> Although we will have a couple geldings here shortly, Boots and Lakota. We really thought we would get some action of the horses running around for you guys and stuff, but not much went on. Uh, they were all really relaxed and laid back and uh, were getting along fine. So we went ahead and left them for the afternoon. We checked back on them every couple hours, but they were all doing fine. Okay, guys, this is the next day. And here comes Ozark and our new horse. And they have buddied up. They are not separating. They're staying right by each other. It's so sweet. Hi, baby. Hi. Usually when we put a horse in with the herd, a new horse, there is a lot of excitement. Usually there's running around um, for quite a while, or at least the new her horse will be like off on the sidelines of the herd, not yet right in the middle. And um, I, it's like she's always been here. It's the weirdest thing. I've never seen them react to a no new horse as calmly or welcoming as they have this horse. I don't know if it's because she's an older, experienced mare, maybe, but it's pretty cool. She fits right in and is already a part of the family, and her and Ozark are so far inseparable. It's pretty funny. It's really sweet. <laughs> We're down here getting a drink out in a nice, clean creek. Aww. Ozark showing her around, showing her the ropes, I guess. Jewel quit, jewel quit. Hi. You're a sweet girl, aren't you? So pretty. Are you making friends out here? Oh, interested in the camera. <laughs> Right here, they all headed back over to the creek, and Boots got in the creek, got belly deep. So it was so funny and cute. I wanted to make sure to show you guys real quick. Boots. Boots is going swimming in December. Oh my goodness, buddy. What are you thinking? <laughs> Boots, that's so silly. Look how deep you are. It's a chilly day, too. He doesn't care one bit. <laughs> so we're very excited about this girl, and not just for the future foal that she'll have with Oliver, although that's very exciting, but just for her herself. She is very laid back and so sweet uh, and we're really hoping that she ends up being a good riding horse like they said in the sale. Once she settles in a bit more we're going to attempt to ride her for the first time and we'll definitely uh, make a video for you guys so you can see that. If you've enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up we sure would appreciate it and subscribe to the channel and if you want to see more of the horses in our homestead you can find us on Facebook and we also have a Patreon page and you can find those links in the description of the video. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all.